All right, hit us up. Hit us up. Okay, so right now we are in the third section of Chapultepec, Bosque Chapultepec in Mexico City. This park is massive in the very center of downtown. It's actually the biggest park in Latin America. It is huge. In this area, there's lots of secrets. There's an abandoned train station and there's this place, which is Atlantis, an abandoned water park. This is probably one of the most famous abandoned places in Mexico City because a few years ago there was all these rumors circling around that when this place coal, that when this place <laughs> closed, they kept the seals and the dolphins alive in here and they got really, really sick and there was a man just like throwing rotten fish. And so that all this news and stuff circulated. Now we're gonna go in there. We have to find a way in. We don't know if there's gonna be animals inside. When did it open? 1981. So if you were a kid in Mexico City in the 1980s, 1990s, you came to this place. Again, a water park in the middle of downtown. Awesome, Everyone right? went, yeah. yeah. All the kids went. So we're gonna go explore. I don't know what to expect in here. One of the reasons why we're here is because we had many requests to come here. And that's probably because it's in the middle of downtown and everybody sees this place. So they probably all were curious, oh, what's inside? Or, hey, just go explore it because they only know about this place. That's one of the reasons why we're here because it's pretty much highly requested. I, this is a place I probably normally would never do, but because everyone's like, oh, come here, come here. I'm just like, okay, I'll come. <sighs> I'm not expecting much. All right. I guess we're right next to the entranceway. There's really nothing left of this place. Place is trashed. It's like they dumped all the recycling stuff right here. Yeah, this place is like, got hit by a bomb. This place was 85 pesos to get into, which was roughly about five uh, US dollars. R really cheap to get inside here. Um, from what I can see down there though, there was an awesome huge wave pool, which we'll get to. Nah, dude, check this out. The green slide. Oh, there's a whole bunch. This is actually epic. Check this out. That's not bad. You don't get to see too many abandoned water slides. These trees have the most reddest flowers I've ever seen. They're bright red. Oh, he's doing a butterfly on it. It's not as bad as I thought. I thought there really was gonna be no water slides at all. Usually when a place closes, the water slides are always the first to go out of every uh, water park I've been to. And that's why I don't even film them. I'm like, screw it, there's no water slides. There's no point in filming uh, a water park. But it's still actually really cool to see that it's still here. Damn. Some guy must like those stickers. <laughs> this wave pool is ginormous. The largest wave pool I've seen is in, uh, the, well, abandoned wise, is in um, Philippines. I think it was called uh, Water Fun, that theme park. I actually, I was there like last month. That was the coolest uh, water park that's abandoned I've ever been to, to this day, as of right now at least. Sure, we would be underwater right now. This is dirty. Yeah, it's super dirty. Cody said it was um, clean. He said it looks clean, so I said, I said, then what do you think is dirty? <laughs> Look at this. I think this was a, a mannequin. It looks, it looks like a butt. Yeah. Like a random butt. There's so much graffiti all over this uh, wave pool. Oh, but over there, if you can see the people swimming in the blimp and then the Coca-Cola soda, that's all the original. The hammock guy. And the actual Coca-Cola uh, soda itself. I wonder if they got sponsored to actually put that on there. to think that this was full of water. Dude, you scared me, man. You're walking on the slides? I wanna get on one of those. Cody said they don't really connect to the bottom. I mean, look at this one right here. Imagine that's like a ramp. 
<laughs> yeah, for real. It's obvious they don't connect. <laughs> but, but imagine if this is how it actually was. Yeah. Oh, luckily, it's not slippery anymore. Oh, okay. I wish I had a skateboard here or the um, boosted with me. Oh. Ah. Ah. oh, I just totally ruined this guy's shot. It's Josh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. No worries, man. Look, it goes it goes down into the pool. Yeah. There's an open fence too. Yeah, I know. I, I seen that. I was like, oh, that's really easy. Well, now I gotta go on this one though. Okay. Okay. We're chilling. The water slides are all over the place. It's like a maze in here. So we're just going up and down and through them. It's actually pretty fun. We're trying to get out of this maze right now. Cameras are on you, man. You said you're gonna jump this. <laughs> Cody said it was really easy at first. Now he was thinking about it. I'm thinking the two foot long jump. Nah, Cody's not gonna do it. Cody's gonna climb onto that one. Oh, he's taking the easy way. Oh, that, oh, he, he's thinking smarter, smarter like his father. These flowers make the place better. Brains it up a bit. We're standing on the cafeteria right now. <laughs> hey, my favorite ice cream, those drumsticks. I know my ice cream. We just left that section that was the, the pretty much the entertainment section, the water slides, the wave pool, we're just there. Over here, if you cross the street, this is where what we're thinking was where all the animals were. They had the big walls to stop the animals from leaving. Dolphins can't hop over that wall. <laughs> but the seals can though. There were seals here. Seals can hop over crap. <laughs> there seems to be a guard over there. Mike spotted him. I'm gonna see if my camera can spot him. So if I angle my camera here, he's like, He's like right here. We're gonna try to yell at him over the fence okay. and see what he says. Let's see if he'll let us in. Just be like, hey man, can we come in? <laughs> <Hop it over>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Amigo. ¿Qué tal? Uh, somos fotógrafos y uh, no. <laughs> El cuidado. Um, necesitamos tomar, um, somos estudiantes de... I don't even know what's beyond this wall, but what I do know is we have drone shots of the place, which you've seen at the intro, and I'm gonna just look online for some before and afters. Nice. Uh, he's like, he's a sweet old guy. Looks, it was hard to like balance my belly on that and have a full conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like a, a very, you'll see him in the footage, but... Santa Clausy kind of guy, old sweet grandfather, but he's like, listen, it's not my, it's not my decision. Yeah. It's private property. It's actually, it's really beautiful in there. It looks right? like a beautiful skate park. All these deep pools where oh, the animals used man. to be. But he's like, yeah, there's no way. And it's not my, I can't give you permission. It's private. This office is over there. I'm like, is there any way like we can negotiate a permit for five, <laughs> like five little minutes? Like there's absolutely no way. If you want to come back on, on Thursday, the, there's the offices. You can ask them, but there's absolutely no way for any amount of money you can come in here. Uh, no, no worries though. Some of the stuff, like I said, some of the stuff we do yeah. to try to get permission or try to go into, it's beyond insane. But we literally don't just go smash windows and, and breaking the place at all. We literally do not vandalize or nothing. That goes for every place I have ever done. And you know, this place is I've been wanting to go to for forever and it just I just can't go in because I just can't get the right permission. It happens. But over time, um, things become lenient and eventually I always, somehow end up getting permission in the, in the end. It's crazy. We just had a chat with the guy again because we came up here to get a closer look at the dome. <laughs> and, and I mean, from what Mike was telling me because it was Mike talking to him, the guy changed the subject four times about what's in the dome. We just want to know what was inside, but he said that this place actually closed down only four years ago. It looks much older. This place got destroyed when they closed down. They just, it's like they just dropped it and left. But that's why the whole rumors about the dolphins and everything was still left here and, and all that. So it def definitely all makes sense now. They just left everything and just dipped. So it's actually, um, I just wanna know what's in the dome. 
but it's all good. We'll never know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all gutted out and abandoned, but it's interesting. Nice. Right here are cops, and they're just going around in circles laughing while they're on duty. It's actually amazing to see. They're just on duty in the park doing donuts. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good thing. All right. Well, I think now's a good time to end today's video because we can't show anything more. But it has been an interesting video, and I think I think I just swallowed a bug or something. <laughs> <laughs> just went right into my mouth. Um, but like I said, um, subscribe to Mike Corey right here. Keep Yo. the grind. Subscribe to Cody, of course. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and subscribe to all everything else I own, all my social media. Just subscribe to everything. Check out my description because that's where all my social media is there. Yeah. I just want you to subscribe to everything I own. It holds me. <laughs> oh. Parkour.